Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Stealth Nanorace VTX from Furious FPV. In this video I'm going to go over its features, measure its output strength and then head outdoors and test it out. Inside the package you're getting the VTX and this IPX2 SMA antenna connector is already connected. You're also getting an extra heat shrink so if you'd like to remove this connector you can simply remove it then you can connect this antenna for example and then put the heat shrink on top. You're also getting this connector which is the same type of connector that the IRC Trump is using and you're also getting the user manual. The Stealth Nanorace VTX supports 40 channels. It features smart audio using IRC Trump protocol and it has a selectable output strength of 0.1, 25, 50 and 100 milliwatts. The weight of the VTX including the antenna connector is 5.77 grams. The weight of the antenna connector is 2.55 grams. So just the VTX on its own weighs 3.22 grams. And if you're going to use it with the Furious FEV Air antenna, the total weight is going to be 5.2 grams. As you can see the Stealth Nanorace VTX is pretty small and its dimensions are about 13.5 by 28.7 by 5.9 millimeters. Over here you can find the VTX connector and as I mentioned before it is using the same connector of the IRC Trump VTX. The right pin is the video in, then the ground, plus 5 volts out for the camera, TX4 pin for using the smart audio feature and then the ground and the VCC in. The walking voltage is between 7.4 to 25 volts so you can power it up directly from a LiPo battery that has between 2 to 6 cells. On the other side of the VTX you can find the IPX antenna connector and this button that will enable you to configure the VTX in case you don't want to use the smart audio feature and in addition by default the VTX comes locked to 25 millivolts and if you want to unlock it you can either set it up to use the smart audio feature and then you won't have to go through the unlock procedure and if you're not going to use the smart audio feature you will need to unlock the VTX using this button and the unlocking procedure is described in this diagram so you will have to start up the VTX, press the button for 3 seconds in order to enter the channel selection menu, then press it again for 3 seconds in order to enter the band selection menu, another 3 seconds for entering the startup selection menu, another 3 seconds for entering the power selection menu, and over here you will need to press this button for 20 seconds in order to unlock it, and then you will be able to select the power output. Now I've got the VTX connected to the Fortini F4 flight controller. When the VTX is set to 25 mV, I'm getting around 27 mV. When it is set to 50 mV, I'm getting around 60 mV. And finally, when it's set to 100 mV, I'm getting around 160 mV. After letting the VTX run for another 3 minutes, you can see that now the output strength is around 150 mV. And by the way, the VTX is not hot at all and the temperature according to the IRC Trump menu is around 41 degrees Celsius. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the Stealth Race Nano VTX using the different output strength options. I can tell you that it performed very well, the video was clear and the only reason that stopped me from getting farther with the quadcopter was actually the RSSI issues that I'm having with this receiver and I guess I will have to change it. Finally, before wrapping up this video, Furious FEV just told me that they're having a promotion and when you're buying the Stealth Nanorace VTX, you're getting two air antennas. So for $28, you're getting the VTX, including two antennas, which is a pretty nice deal. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos. And goodbye.